Welcome back to AM Northwest. It's uh, kind of a silly Monday. I know, we've got the giggles. Yeah, I know it. And hey, what you serve your kids in your kids' lunch can really make a big difference in their weight and how they start their day. And here are some easy ways to fix lunch idea with lunch ideas as registered dietitian and the author of Eat Your Way to Happiness, Elizabeth Summer. Nice to have you here. Oh, nice to be here. It's kind of a silly it. Monday, and, no, and, and I can't talk. Okay. Um, it, it's, it's a, I think, probably one of the biggest fights we have in our home is what kids are going to eat for lunch because it's, it's so difficult to find the right foods or get them to eat the right foods. Oh. Oh, yeah, and you you know, if you can steer clear of the hot lunch at school, you're better off because not all schools, but a lot of schools are serving foods that are just way too high in fat and sugar and salt and everything else. And well, it doesn't and, and not only that, but, but the kids won't eat it because the reputation is it's awful. They, the kids say, oh, it's terrible, school looks awful. Okay. okay, so they won't eat it. Okay, so well, Pat, the candy machine is better. Yeah, and this, <laughs> everything I'm going to tell you about is not, doesn't take any more than five or ten minutes. You can make it at night, the night before, so that all you have to do is just put it in a bag in the refrigerator and pull That's it out in the idea. morning. These look delicious. Okay, well, think outside the loaf. You know, I, mean, I think kids get tired of sandwiches over right, and over right, and over right, again, right. but you can wrap anything into a tortilla. I like these Mission Life Balance ones because they have the equivalent of a glass of milk's worth of calcium in them. So if you can't get your kids to drink milk, you can get it into a tortilla. I've got one that's little pinwheels of fat-free sour cream, uh, a little bit of chutney, some dried tart cherries, and some uh, orange Ooh. zest. Oh, that sounds they're good. Yeah, they're that's fun really and little good. finger foods. Or, or, you know, a tuna sandwich. Put it into a wrap rather than a... a bur uh, do, you a, cut, do you cut them up like this for yeah, bite-sized yeah, chunks? You can. Okay, or, uh, you know, you can do the black beans, the rice, the, the cheese, the and, and with a little, a little container of salsa, and they can have a burrito at lunch. If you're going to have a sandwich, try mixing a little bit of toasted wheat germ, peanut butter, and honey together into what I used to call a peanut butter candy sandwich because the wheat germ has like zinc and iron and B vitamins oh. and vitamin E and the kids won't even know it's in the peanut butter because it's all mixed up. Okay, good idea. Brilliant um, idea. Or you can take a, a, a whole grain uh, pita, pita bread, stuff it with some fat-free cream cheese, put some fresh fruit like peaches in it, sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg over the top. They think it's a dessert, but they're actually getting, there's four things you need to put into a lunch. You okay. need a protein, you need a whole grain, you need a calcium rich food, and you need some sort of fruit or vegetables. So those okay. are the four things you gotta build the lunch around. Because you, you gotta set them up for the rest of the day. They gotta have some protein to maintain their energy, but they need something to, to give them a little boost too after the morning. Right, they? and they need the antioxidants and the fruits and vegetables, and you can okay. sneak them in all over the place. You can even do a little grab and go thing. I put some grilled chicken and some honey mustard dip, uh, a raisin bread dunked in some, apple cinnamon yogurt uh, some baby carrots and all you'd have to do is add a drink to that and you've got you're, a lunch you're good to go. and you've yeah. really given them nothing to to, uh, to trade <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's uh, what do we true. have here? These little side dishes that go in I thought you said life. you weren't going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then these are all the side dishes. You can put watermelon. I mean, gosh, it doesn't get any yeah. better. Right. Chin dribble and watermelon. Put a clam shell of Driscoll berries in there. I mean, so that's a wonderful thing. They can right. throw them up in the air and catch them in their mouth. Grapes, applesauce, orange juice, milk. Even if it's chocolate, at least it's got the calcium in it. Are you looking for something that, like, you're still looking for the amount of sugar in your chocolate milk, right? You well, want to make you know, sure you don't overdo kids, it. This could be the sweet. If kids are going to eat sugar, far better that it be something that's got calcium and some protein in it than just junk food, which we'll get to in a minute. And this looks really simple and easy and delicious. It's just nuts, a little bit of cho uh, uh, chocolate chips, uh, some dried fruit. You can take yogurt and mix a little bit of extra fruit into it. Okay. And, we're and we're almost out of time, but okay. I want to get to what you shouldn't put in there because that's, oh, okay. what's, that's what's in most of them, so oh, very quickly. Lunchables are awful. They're high in fat, they're high in salt, they're high in sugar. Uh, this one's got nine teaspoons of sugar in it and almost wow. a full day's allotment of salt. Um, the, watch out for the fruit leather. They're, that's just sugar water, you know, that sticks to your teeth. The, the smoothies on the market are mostly just sugar. Anything with the word chip in the title, flat earth chips, apple chips, banana chips, potato chips, Skip yeah, that smoothie stuff. sounds so healthy, but it really isn't. Yeah, yeah. there's nine teaspoons of sugar yeah. in that wow. thing. Thank you wow. so much. Those are very good. Now we have snacks for the rest of the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the tips on our website. Thank you so much.